Right, so something a bit different this week. I'm out in Costa Brava, literally just arrived. I'm at Peralda Golf Course and Winery. Just about to show you. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna basically, I think I'm gonna do a vlog every day. Um, so a bit of in and around the golf course, a little bit around Costa Brava and try and take you on the same trip that I'm on as well. So I'm just gonna go and have a little look around Peralda uh, Hotel is the first thing I'm gonna do and uh, then I'll be out onto that golf course very soon. This is their kind of uh, bar and restaurant area. It's all pretty special here to be fair. It's very nice. Restaurant down there and then I'll take you out onto this balcony and just have a look at that view. And the golf course up there which uh, we'll see fairly soon. Right so if the junior suite wasn't enough for you, what about that presidential suite? Unfortunately, I'm not staying here tonight, but that is nice, isn't it? That's my idea of a spa. Right, we're on the first tee at Peralda. I'm going to do a few introductions. First of all, that is James Wiltshire. James, YouTuber, so make sure you check out that channel. And I've got Simon Lewis. Hi, uh, yes, yeah, Simon Lewis. Remind me of that company name, mate. Travel Concept Solutions. Travel Concept Solutions. Anyway, it's all going to be fairly relaxed this afternoon. Nine holes at Peralda. I'm just going to film a few shots, maybe show you a few of the decent holes, get the drone up, fingers crossed, and hopefully just enjoy the sunshine. We ripped it. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to play nine holes here at Peralda this afternoon, and we're playing the back nine. This is hole 11. First, I've seen the first hole as well, and it's kind of like tight fairways, relatively tight anyway. I think there's, uh, as you've seen from a couple of my tee shots, you can get away with it a little. Uh, greens look good, and uh, yeah, pretty impressive start to be fair. I'll give you that. This is the first time I've recorded you on my channel, so just make sure it's a decent shot, mate. Yeah? I'll try my best. Are you ready? I've told them how good you are, so do not let me down. You ready? Born ready, mate. Okay. That's it. <laughs> the golf ball. Left. Tad In left. Golf ball is golf ball is bruised. <laughs> Right, so we've been up, it's been an early start, 4am start, James Wiltshire, that's your channel name isn't it? Yeah, James, James Wiltshire. Wiltshire. And you, James competes in world's longest drive comps, yeah? That's it, yeah, long um, drive. So you've seen him give it an absolute walk just then. Mm -hmm. um, Into the it's trees. tough today mate, isn't it? It is tough, it's well we haven't we had much sleep, I slept in my car last night, um, had about two and a half hours in Stansted long stay <laughs> in the, on the back seat. Woke up freezing cold. I had a really luxurious bed. Did you? I still feel terrible to be honest with you. <laughs> so it's been an early start, no excuses. The course, we're just uh, sort of getting going this afternoon. Um, loads of golf to come. Mm. And uh, hopefully be a bit livelier. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll be all right after a rest. Right, okay, so it is uh, late afternoon and I'm at Torre Marona Golf Course, I hope I've said that right, and uh, the first man versus golf hole challenge of this trip, and it's the first hole. Struggle to get anything around Peralda this morning in terms of time to film one of these things, so we're going to start it all off here. It's a par three, it's an island green, it seems absolutely perfect for a man versus golf hole challenge. I don't know the stroke index, hang on a minute. Well, it's stroke index six, and I'm not surprised, it's an island green, it's 170 meters so what's that maybe almost 190 into the wind 
and I really have got a three iron out and I don't know whether I'll have enough to get it there to be quite honest I've picked out an old ball enough talk and that's just is it I don't think we need drone footage because it's a little bit windy for me to get that but I'll zoom in so you can have a good look at this green I just do not think I've got enough club here It's a decent strike, but it's going left, which is the longest route. Oh, I'm on dry ground. It stayed there. Right, I'll come back a camera and I'll see if we can zoom in on that because I'm quite surprised. It was enough club and I'm more than happy to be uh, on dry ground, to be honest with you. So if I get to the bunker, you should. A bit wobbly camera work. And I've got sunglasses on, but yeah in front of that yellow marker is that it there we've got a ball and believe me i'll take that i'm more than happy there's the hole that we're looking at and like i said dry ground i'll take the shot one i really did get fortunate here in terms of staying on uh, on dry ground i can assure you of that because uh maybe i should have brought the camera with me but i'm 10 feet away from the ducks and this is a little bit of a bailout area that didn't quite see from the tee. I'm going to take a drop there. There's some seeded GUR. Just drop that back. Right, so right back to you. And uh, what I don't want to do is thin one and go long. Because if this goes past the camera, I'm back in the water the opposite way. Of being aggressive without being too aggressive. Now roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out. Yeah, I think I played it as I explained it. I was uh, I made decent contact, but then didn't have the confidence to throw it as far as it probably needed to be to try and uh, give myself a realistic chance of making par. Greens are soft underfoot. I'll show you more of Torre Morona, Torre Morona Golf Club. Um, a little bit later on the duck wants to get in on the act so let's see if we can get this Costa Brava man versus golf old challenge off to a win I've been lucky of late in hole inputs when the camera switched on and uh, I don't suppose that can last forever but you never know not a great deal in it I don't think so maybe right a centre with my eyes shut Ooh. And that's gone past I'm a bit too bold with that and a nasty little four footer on the way back this could be far worse than uh, I was looking for a win and now I need this for the half well quite relieved to get the half because uh, well overdid it there with that first putt uh, but give it a chance I suppose but anyway that's off uh, so the Costa Brava man versus golf hole challenge starts off all square this one and placed it any better if I was to look back I've literally come right over the angle of the dog leg and it is in position A but being honest about this I was aiming sort of 20 yards further to the left so this is a real stroke of luck what you perhaps can't see and I'll try and zoom in after I've played the shot is there is a lot of water like I said between me and the green and in all honesty I'm going to club all the muscle power to get anywhere near that uh, carry that distance so it's going to be a layup I'm going to hit seven iron and then hopefully leave something fairly short in. But to be honest, there's really two nice holes back to back there at this Torre Marano. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, golf shot needed. It's hard to switch in and out of this, but this man versus golf tends to focus the mind a little bit. Right.
and that's looking decent. I don't know the yardage of that water, so it, oh, it's bang on. That's spot on, should leave a wedge in. Happy with that. Sun shining, a few decent golf shots. Life's good. Right, let's zoom in. So that's the, that's where we're going. But like I said, I had nothing anywhere near that I could clear that with. I think a pretty sensible shot. I always manage to forget something on these trips and uh, it's normally a piece of camera kit and on this occasion it's uh, my rangefinder, viewfinder. Uh, so I have no idea of any yardage that I'm playing. This is going to be purely about uh, what I reckon, which is about 80 yards. I've got pitching wedge, bit of wind in and uh, what I don't want to be is short and get in a watery grave. Not while that camera's switched on. I've just noticed a big chunk of mud on the ball and there's an excuse already. It's right on the uh, contact point as well. Pulled it. Pulled it, distance looks okay. Yeah, it's grip back end. Like I said, it was never gonna be short. And just trying to hit that little low flighted wedge, I just tugged it a little down the left hand side. But to be honest, like I said, I'm on in uh, regulation and uh, that's more than good enough for me, I'm afraid. Putting's not been great either, but... 6 a.m. flight this morning, I'm blaming. Anyway, stop moaning, and you're out in the sun. Let's see if we can get one up close. It's a good line, this. It's a good line. It's a good line, it's a good line, it's a good line. <sighs> now, I've said this far too many times now, but I have no idea what goes on in Man vs Golf Hole Challenge. I mean, it's almost, I mean, I, I, I dare not even say it, but it's like, it's just a, a weird, weird thing that happens. And I've just drained a putt again of whatever it is, 30, I, I mean, I could take another 50 punts at that and it would not go in. So it turns out to be a birdie four, and uh, um, what, it's about six o'clock in the evening, the sun is shining, I'm in Costa Brava. Yes, I'm playing golf on my own. A gorgeous golf course, and, uh, and a birdie's just a bit of a bonus, and that puts me one up. Right, so last one of the three hole challenge at Torremorona, uh, and the first one at Costa Brava. What am I on? I'm a hole seven, I'm reading over to a board to the left, it's stroke index 10, so no shots. 353 meters, so again around that sort of maybe 380 mark. I'm going to go with this three iron off the tee. I think it veers, we're well, looking by the little map there, it's a bit of a dog leg from right to left. So uh, fingers crossed, keep one in play and have a shot at this and get Costa Brava man versus golf off to a win. down the left left bunkers it's, there's a splash so it's left bunker um, not the best shot but uh, let's see what we can do from there I think I've got a fairly lengthy bunker shot into this green now okay so bunkers fairly flat and uh, let's see where it's landed in there <sighs> directly over the kind of trees right directly in front of me you might be able to pick up the flag and uh, I don't know again quite a yardage but I'm going to go the best I can do to pick up this and clear them trees is an 8 iron. Let's see if I can do that. Bit different to the bunkers back in the UK, they're a bit, they're, they're quite grainy um, and, and quite a few stones in them as well. I'll make another excuse, one's directly behind my bottle. <laughs> right, come on, just up and over there. It's up and over, but I think I'm going into another one. It's yours? No, it's gone in. Nice time to play a bit of golf. Wind's picked up just a little bit. It's gone in front edge, um, and literally, I don't know, might have made the front of the green, but reasonably happy. Uh, but like I said, it's gonna need a, an up and down. Not a lot of green there either. This is gonna have to come out quite soft.
and it hasn't gone soft that was quite quite hard underneath that was club completely slid didn't get under that one at all yeah that's quite different than from the bunker i've just played to be honest with you but no excuses it is what it is i think that might have gone out of shot on camera i wasn't planning to uh shift one 30 foot past the flag but then again this is my distance on man v golf challenge let me know what you think of these videos man v golf i'm going to go out of shot for a little bit um yeah it's my way of sort of playing a little bit of golf and uh, giving you a little look around the golf course at the same time so let me know if you think that works or not right here we go I need this so it's a loss, so it's in, or we're all square. That's not got enough, and that's not got enough. No, there's no 30 footer, and there shouldn't be. I can't keep draining them. Uh, I'll take one on its own. So that was stroke 10, so no shot for the average golfer. So Tora Marina, and I still struggle to say that, on the first man versus golf hole challenge, it finishes all square. The winner is playing golf in this kind of weather at this time of night absolutely gorgeous in october so there you go hope you enjoyed it so that's it so far we'll pick it up again tomorrow when two more courses uh out here in the costa bravo for the average golfer